What are your thoughts on living for free? Sounds pretty good, right? If you're into real estate investing or have been searching YouTube for some sort of real estate investing advice, you'll likely have stumbled upon a video on something called house hacking. And for those of you who have never heard of this, house hacking is essentially a way of buying real estate in order for you to live for free. So I'm going to be going over just that in this video. I'll give you a theoretical example, and then I'll go through can you house hack in Hawaii? And even if you don't live in Hawaii, you can use this process to analyze any other real estate properties that you're thinking about investing in. So join me on this journey to find out whether or not I can live for free in Hawaii and maybe you can too. And if you're new here, my name is Keenan and I live here in Hawaii and I make videos to help you avoid any of the mistakes that I made in my life as an engineer in construction or in personal finance and investing. So if that got you really excited, hit that subscribe button and let's get into the video. So here's an example of house hacking. So the theory behind house hacking is that you're going to buy a multifamily property and you're going to live in one of the units and rent out the others to cover your cost of ownership. So here's a theoretical example. Say you buy a $500,000 home and you need to put your 20% typical down payment on it so that's $100,000. Because interest rates are really low right now, we'll assume that you're going to be locking in a 3% interest rate on this property. So because you put $100,000 down, your loan is for $400,000 which means your monthly payment will be roughly around $1,600 a month. When you add on the cost for property tax, insurance, and repairs, your total monthly payment for this property will be roughly $2,400 a month. So if this $500,000 property has, say, three units on there, you would live in one of the units and you would rent the other two units out. So if your monthly payment is $2,400 a month, you can basically live for free if you rent out the other two units for $1,200 or more per month. And so keep in mind part of that rent and that mortgage that you're paying off through your renters is also going back into the home's equity. Essentially adding on to that $100,000 down payment into the home. So you can live in that triplex worry free and everything is great. Somebody else is paying off your mortgage and you can just exist in your home. Sounds pretty cool, right? Excuse me, sir, are you doing this yourself? No. Well, if it's so cool, then why haven't you done it? These are aggressive questions. But this is a good point now. Why am I not house hacking? So let me take you on a tropical journey through Hawaii real estate, and maybe through that journey, you'll figure out why. And while we go on this journey, you can follow along with the way that I'm analyzing these properties, and maybe use that if you live in a different area. So let's go into my computer now. So let's go on to our tropical journey of Hawaii real estate. I don't know if anybody caught this. This is a pretty good indication of where this session is going to be going. Here we go. Let's look for some multifamily properties. Oh, $15 million. Nice. Well, that's a little out of our price range, so let's maybe we'll go. We'll start here. Okay, lowest price, $849,800. That's inspiring. Check out this property here. Does this look like a $800,000 property to all of you out there. So let's look at this property. This is in Kalihi. It's kind of in the middle of Oahu, um, one of the metropolitan islands of Hawaii. Kind of look through these pictures here. I don't know what you guys think. So this must be the home here, I'm assuming. Okay. Looks like they might have redone the cabinets and yeah, probably the counter too. Because this this is this is the, so far away, so that tells me that something's different there. Um, yeah, it looks like they retiled the bathrooms. Yeah. If anyone else is not in Hawaii or they're in like Texas or something, they're probably like eight hundred thousand for this. This is crazy. That's, oh, look at that. Looks like we need some paint over there. All right, well, cool. So what is this? This is showing a one bedroom, one studio, one two bedroom and one three bedroom as part of this with two parking stalls. Um, okay, so it looks like it's in a little cul-de-sac here. Oh, look at this. Live in one, rent the others, exclamation point. That's cool. So let's analyze this. So for this cheapest option, if I'm putting down 20%, I'm putting just over $169,000 down into the property, which, you know, 
a lot of people have lying around their home. So using our 3% interest rate, you're going to be paying a little over $2,800 per month in just your mortgage and adding on your property tax, insurance, and your repair costs. Your monthly payment on this property will be about $3,900 per month. The rough rent for this area for that studio unit may be about $800. For the two bedroom unit, it will be about $1,400 a month. And for the three bedroom unit, it will be about $2,000 a month. So as you can see, the best combination of this is that if you are to live in the studio and you are to rent out the two and three bedrooms which kind of sucks because even at that you still don't have your rent covering your main costs and this property is not that beautiful so you'll probably have to spend more money renovating and doing all these other things which is just more money out of your pocket but then again maybe you're cool living in the studio and you're fine being in this environment from that perspective you're only paying about $500 per month out of pocket so there's that to consider but let's look at another example let's go back um, let's see here, maybe we'll go with the, this one here, Kapahulu. It's kind of near Waikiki, if you know where that is, um, 723 Makaleka Avenue. Okay, so multifamily again, it's two units, one two bedroom, one three bedroom. With some parking stalls here, it looks like there might be some street parking available as well. Um, looks like we just got to scroll through these pictures here. Ooh, white van. Okay, okay, a little outdated stuff there, but it's relatively clean. Bars on the windows, always a great sign. Looks okay. Again, this is like nine hundred thirty thousand dollars so okay cool assessed value total 752 selling for 930 <laughs> love it so for this middle option of nine hundred thirty thousand dollars twenty percent of that will be a hundred and eighty six thousand dollars so at a three percent interest rate your mortgage will be just above thirty one hundred dollars per month property taxes insurance and miscellaneous repair costs your monthly payment will be about four thousand three hundred fifty dollars per month so in this area, you could probably rent the two bedroom around $2,200 a month and maybe the three bedroom at about $2,600 per month. So as you can see, if you live in one, you can't really cover your cost of your monthly payment. The only other option would be for you to put more money down so that you can lower your monthly payment or you can get a better interest rate. But again, looking at this property, it just doesn't seem like it's going to give you that cash flow and that ability to allow you to live for free in paradise. But maybe there's another deal out there. Third time's the charm. Maybe. Maybe we need to go even higher. Maybe house hacking only works at a seven figure level. Let's try it. Let's see, is there anything above a million dollars? Okay, we'll go with this one. Makakilo, it's on the opposite side of the island, on the west side of the island. So let's see, well it looks, looks like they redid some stuff or it looks relatively new-ish. It's a decent view. Split AC units, pretty nice stuff. This looks like a, okay, so, oh, oh, what do we have here? What is this? So is it, is it all of this? Or is it just, oh, oh, okay, okay. Looks like it's all of this, which is pretty, good seemingly I mean, it looks like you're getting a few houses in one if that's really the case i don't know seems like seems like that's accurate so two one bedroom units one three bedroom unit so for this 1.15 million dollar property your 20 percent down payment on that will be two hundred thirty thousand dollars which again so many people have that lying around their house at a three percent interest rate your mortgage will be just about four thousand dollars and with your property taxes insurance and miscellaneous repair costs your total monthly payment on that will be about five thousand five hundred dollars for so for this specific area you could probably rent out each of the one bedrooms for about twelve hundred dollars a month and the three bedroom for about two thousand five hundred dollars a month so once again we have another property that it doesn't seem like we're going to get our money's worth by living in one unit and having the rent cover the cost of our monthly payments which is really depressing because I really wanted to know what to do with this two hundred thirty thousand dollars that I have just lying around so what do we take away from this 
I think for one, this proves that you need to go through the exercise of finding the right deal and you need to account for everything and make sure that your costs are covered. Going into a real estate transaction without understanding your numbers, to me, doesn't allow you to properly assess your investment. And I think we all also learned that Hawaii is pretty expensive. But I want you to take away from this if you don't live in Hawaii, which probably most of you aren't. Find other places in the United States that you can do this exact same exercise with and I think you'd have a little bit more success. You'll have a smaller down payment so things will be a lot more manageable for you and I think if you run through this exercise you may find that there are a lot more deals out there than I'm finding here in Hawaii. And speaking of better deals that rolls into my second thing is that interest rates matter. So remember now all of these things I used a 3% interest rate which is a pretty low interest rate for mortgages. Usually these rates are in the fours to fives and back in the day it was even in the double digits. So right now interest rates are low because of how last year was and that can really affect your monthly payment. The third takeaway is that looking at all these different homes, you have to think about your lifestyle. Do you really wanna live with other people so close? Does it mean that much to you to save that money to lose, I guess, your sense of privacy. Plus, as the landlord, you'll be right there, so if there's anything that goes wrong, you're just a hop, skip, and a jump away, which can be good and bad in certain situations. So takeaway number four, and especially for those that are in Hawaii right now, investing in real estate is tough. There's a big barrier to entry, which is mainly the down payment, and because everything is so expensive out here. So in order to get there, you need to save your money. You need to be very cognizant of where all your spending is going and making sure that you're saving enough so that you can invest your money elsewhere. If you want to be a part of the Hawaii real estate market, which quite honestly will probably always go up in the long term, you have to save more of your income. And maybe if you do enjoy that lifestyle, this video proves to you that there may be a deal out there where you can house hack. You just have to search really hard for it. And the last takeaway number five is that this is really your preference, it's your life. Make sure that you're happy in your situation and you're not just doing house hacking or trying to invest in real estate this way just for money. It has to be a part of a lifestyle that you also enjoy or else in my opinion it doesn't make any sense to try to do it. Well I hope you enjoyed the video. When I first saw house hacking out there I thought it was such a cool concept. For me personally I like my privacy. I don't think I would ever do it unless maybe a financial situation pushed me into that. But if you have any further questions on this topic please feel free to comment below and as always don't forget to hit that like button Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can join our growing family here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and I'll see you on the next video.